one of the lines in it was, it, it goes, two white horses, two white doves. And Darren said, uh, they didn't have horses yet, so you would have to replace the horses. And uh, it just wasn't, so I had to contemplate that. And um, so I found a way and I changed it to two white doves, two white wings to carry you away. And, um, and then when I gave them a, a, a version of the song, Russell studied it and then shaped it more toward for him so, and even uh, wrote a line or two. So uh, I had the opportunity to actually um, collaborate a bit with Russell, which is wonderful because, uh, you know, he's a great artist. And I, I could vi envision how Russell would um, go into himself to pull out this little song, which his father sang to him as a boy and his grandfather sang to his father can you talk a little bit about what the, the, the Noah story itself might uh, means to you? I mean, is it is it because it's specifically Old Testament that it that it's uh, of well, interest? Well, it's a it's a terrible story. Uh, um, I mean, a lot of the Old Testament is is terrible, and when I say terrible, I mean so brutal and painful. And Noah is one such story. Uh, there's so much corruption in the world that that uh, that God destroys everything, including innocent babes. He just, it, it, within the story, he decides that he, he's gonna, he wants a clean slate and that the, the people uh, are unredeemable. And this is a, you know, a, a frightening story when you're a, a young child reading the Bible, I can say. It's, uh, it's not a Cracker Jacks, you know, the little cute little art with the little Cracker Jack uh, animals in it. It's a, it's a very difficult story. You, you, you were obviously very famous earlier in your career for saying um, Jesus died for somebody's sins but not mine and now you're doing a sort of writing music for a big religious film. Can I ask you what, what, what's changed in the interim? Well, nothing's changed, you know. I mean, I think that uh, the statement that I made when I was young uh, was uh, a declaration of, of uh, existence. It was not against Jesus Christ. I actually have always admired the teachings of Jesus Christ. It was uh, simply, I was a young girl. I wrote that actually when I was around 20, um, saying that I want to make my own mistakes. I don't want, want to feel that someone sacrificed themselves for me. I want to find out who I am on my own.